What's up everybody? This is probably the most requested video. How to calculate your macros. Roll the intro. Before we get into how to calculate your macros, just know that this is very basic. This is not a one size fits all. There will be multiple people that are the same body weight and are the same gender, same age, and they're gonna need different macronutrients. Um, so just wanna get that out of the way. This is not a one size fits all, but this is a very basic way to at least get a starting point on how to track your macros. So first let's talk about what macros are. So macros are proteins, carbs, and fats. Um, proteins and carbs are both four calories per one gram and fats are nine calories per gram. Alcohol also contains calories. One gram of alcohol is seven calories, but it's not a macronutrient. Um, if you wanna know how you track that after you've calculated macros and you have drinks, our last video talked about that. Um, so that is the very basics of what macros are. The first thing that you need to figure out before figuring out your actual macro breakdown is you need to figure out for maintenance, for maintaining what your body looks like right now, what how much you weigh, um, figure out your total daily energy expenditure or how many calories you need in a day. Um, so you could dissect how much you've been consistently eating for the past couple of weeks and say, oh, that's where I want to start. Remember, this is all a starting point. Um, or you could go online, there are a bunch of calculators, you know, you could just get a guesstimate from those TDEE calculators online, might give you a good idea. But for what we're going to talk about today, we're going to use a 200 pound male that eats 2800 calories per day. So that's what we're going to base today's calculations off of to give you an example. The next thing that you need to do once you figure that out, you need to figure out how much protein you need to be eating. Um, this could be, you know, research says that it could be anywhere from 0.8 to 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight, lean body mass. Um, it's safe to say that you could do about one gram of protein um, per pound of body weight. Uh, this wouldn't really apply to someone that might be overweight. There's gray area here. Um, and like I said, this is for maintenance, what we're talking about right now. Yeah, if you're um, extremely overweight, I would say go towards that 0.8. And if you are um, in a, an extreme deficit or you're super lean, you can go closer to 1.2. But one is just a safe starting point. So our 200 pound male that we're working with, um, he obviously weighs 200 pounds, so we're gonna give him 200 grams of protein each day, and that equals 800 calories, because remember, 200 times four calories um, is 800 calories total. So now we're left with 2,000 calories to work with for carbs and fats. Right, so 2,800 calories, how much he needs, minus 800 from the protein is left is 2,000 calories. So next, you can split up fats and carbs however you'd like. Just know that um, if it's more of a lifestyle thing, you probably wanna give yourself a little bit more fats if you eat out a lot because you can say no to bread, you can say no to rice, um, but it's hard to say no to butter because it's in the cooking or the meats are not as lean as a chicken breast, they probably use chicken thighs or the burgers are fattier meats. So it's easier to give yourself a buffer by having higher fats. We are low fat dieters, so what we do is 25% of our total calories coming from fat. So of 2,800 calories, 25% would be 700 calories. Now you take 700 calories and you divide that by nine because there are nine calories per gram of fat. So 700 divided by nine is about 78 grams. So you'd be left with 78 grams of fat. Now you have 2,800 calories minus 800 calories for protein, minus 700 calories for fats, you're left with 1,300 calories. 1,300 calories divided by four to get you your carbohydrates because there's four calories per gram of carbohydrates is 325 grams of carbohydrates. So our 200 pound male would be eating 200 grams of protein, 78 grams of fat, and 325 carbohydrates 
for maintenance. maintenance. <laughs> if you wanted to cut, obviously you would decrease these macros um, by various amounts. It depends on how quickly you want to cut. It depends on a lot of things. And then also if you wanted to gain muscle or be in a calorie sur surplus, then you would increase these macros. Um, or do you, nah, anyway. Not yeah. Gonna say it. Yeah. I'm increase. Not, increase. There's the a macros. lot of variables and there's a lot of gray area, but this is the most basic version of how to calculate your macros for maintenance. Um, yeah. So we hope you found this video helpful. Comment down below if you have any questions um, or the next topic uh, that you'd like us to cover. I think we're going to talk about how to ca uh, how to track. Sorry, track your macros because that's uh, the next part, right? You found your macros. Now what? Um, and then share this video with somebody that, that wants to know more about macros or how to calculate their macros. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Like it. I don't know if I said that. And you're, you're worth, worth it. it.